Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Linda Scott, Dean of the University of Wisconsin-Madison School of Nursing. It is my pleasure to welcome the families and friends of our 2021 graduating class. Graduates, I am delighted to welcome and congratulate you on this special day. It is a milestone for you personally, academically, and professionally. Consider the significance of this moment. Breathe in and breathe out while you take in what you have accomplished and all it has taken for you to persevere, especially during this unprecedented time. The past year has required a greater level of resilience than anyone could have imagined. You successfully balanced the intensity of your nursing education in a pandemic along with the demands of your personal life. Please take another moment to consider what has kept you motivated and who has supported you along the way. In addition to celebrating all that you've accomplished, let yourself be inspired by what is ahead for you in the nursing profession. As of today, you are a baccalaureate prepared nurse. Research shows that your level of education will make a difference in the outcomes of your patients. You really are ready to improve health for all people as a nurse. Today, we recognize nearly 220 new Bachelor of Science in Nursing graduates from across our three pathways to the degree. The traditional BSN, our two-year program. The accelerated BSN, our one-year program for second degree candidates. And our R in the BSN program, known as BSN at Home for associate degree prepared nurses who came back to UW-Madison to earn their baccalaureate degree. As graduates of the UW-Madison School of Nursing, you will question, critique, teach, and learn. In doing so, you will influence processes to improve systems, care, and equity. When I consider the impact that can be made throughout your nursing career, I am reminded that William Jennings Bryant said, destiny is not a matter of chance, it is a matter of choice. It is not a thing to be waited for. It is a thing to be achieved. You are here today because you made a choice to pursue nursing, a profession characterized by action taken on behalf of others. Your action has the potential to change the way individuals, families, communities, and populations think about health. Years ago, I sat in your place. I remember the pride I felt for achieving my childhood dream of becoming a nurse. Along with that sense of achievement, there was a feeling of trepidation. I never questioned whether being a nurse was the right decision for me, but I did wonder if I was really ready to meet the challenges ahead. I quickly learned that my education had prepared me well. You too will find that you are well prepared for the art and the science of nursing. I hope that you will enter your career fully confident in your skills, your way of thinking, and the ability to use your voice as a nurse. Through your dedication to these, you will change lives in a profession that is one of the most respected in our society. Nursing is positioned to be significant in the transformation of healthcare as systems become more person-centered with a focus on communities and populations. Your faculty have prepared you for this kind of leadership. You will advocate for the health of all communities and to advance the profession. As nurses, you will have moments that will stand out for you. Many will involve connections with your colleagues, but there are times in which you will find yourself standing alone. You may be the only person present when someone breathes a last breath, the only person present who disagrees with a policy or a proposed treatment, or the only one who heard what a patient was really saying or what their loved one 
needed you to know. You have learned and experienced so much in your nursing education, yet among the most important things to know as you travel your nursing journey is yourself and who you intend to be in those moments when you stand alone. Even though today marks the end of this phase of your academic preparation for nursing, remember that learning is a lifelong process. Each day in the profession will offer you chances to grow. This will be a gift to you, your practice, and those for whom you care. For some of you, the chance to pursue advanced degrees in nursing is inevitable. Others may find that their formal nursing education is complete, but will later find that the path to advanced education calls to you. In your life, as in your profession, you will ask difficult questions, listen deeply, and let the answers determine your course of action. Graduates, you have an energy, an enthusiasm, a willingness to question, and a passion to enact change when change is needed. The future of nursing is in good hands. Keep your fire for the profession burning, but as you do, please remember this, to make the greatest positive impact, you must also take care of yourself. I hope you will encourage this among your colleagues too. Developing as healthy nurses should be a priority in your aspirations. I hope you will also remember that no matter where your future takes you, these three things will be true. You will always be a member of the Badger Nurse family. You will always have a home in Signe Scott Cooper Hall. And as a nurse leader for the profession and society, you will change lives. I wish you all the best as graduates and nursing colleagues. I would now like to welcome Dr. Lisa Bratsky, Undergraduate Program Director, who will offer you a greeting on behalf of the faculty and introduce our three student speakers. Dr. Bratsky. Thank you, Dean Scott. My name is Lisa Bratsky, and I'm an Associate Professor and the Undergraduate Program Director here at the UW-Madison School of Nursing. On behalf of all the undergraduate faculty, we welcome our students, their families, and friends to this virtual celebration. As Dean Scott mentioned, this has been an extraordinary year. During this past year, these graduates have displayed resilience and compassion, tenacity and empathy in the face of incredible disruption and an ever-shifting clinical landscape. They have successfully and competently cared for each other, as well as their patients and community in the face of many unknowns. It's been an honor, to, honor from the faculty perspective to work with our graduates, and all of our graduates have made us so proud. And we're looking forward to watching their careers as Badger nurses as they continue to grow and flourish. It is now my great privilege to celebrate a few of our graduates as we run through our list of awards. Central to our mission at the school is to develop leaders for the profession and society. You, our graduates, are the embodiment of that mission. You are our leaders. You are our future of care. Now I am pleased to introduce three of those leaders, our graduation speakers, one from each program. These students were nominated and selected by their classmates to share their thoughts with us today. First, please join me in welcoming Amanda Husk, a soon-to-be graduate from our accelerated BSN program. Fellow ABSN nurses, here we are after our short yet intense year together. When we applied for this program, we knew we were signing up for an intense and rigorous challenge. However, we had no idea that we'd be meeting those challenges in a year marked with a global pandemic, ongoing social justice crises, and even an insurrection on the U.S. Capitol. But meet those challenges we did. It may have looked different than any of us had imagined, starting our classes online from all corners of the globe, finally meeting together in person, only to become much more familiar in our assessment lab the very same day. And yet we became nurses. We're prepared to inform our practice with evidence, to advocate for our patients, 
and to provide leadership as we work for social justice. This cohort is so tremendously talented, compassionate, and able to think critically about the problems we'll be called upon to solve. I was talking with my sons recently about the importance of helping people. My youngest said to me, Mom, but you really help people. You're going to be a nurse. Even a six-year-old knows that nurses help people in their moments of need. Many of us felt some loss about not being able to be together in person so much. But from that arose an intense sense of gratitude for the small moments of connection with one another. Let's take this into our practice, these small moments of connection that might mean more to our patients and families than we'll ever know. This year, we showed up and we will continue to show up for our patients, our coworkers, our organizations and communities. But please, let's all make sure to show up for ourselves too. Whether it's exercise, some Tai Chi, or brunch and bloodies with a friend, make sure to take care of yourself too. Thank you to our communities who have showed up to support us through this journey. Thank you to the significant others, families, parents, and friends who have been through us, been with us through it all. Thank you to our faculty, staff, preceptors, and mentors who have guided us along the way. I am so incredibly proud of our achievements and confident in our abilities to make a difference in the world. Dr. Snedden taught us to celebrate everything, but today we celebrate something momentous. Congratulations, Badger Nurses Class of 2021. Thank you, Amanda. Next, we will hear from the speaker selected by, our, by her fellow BSN at Home program graduates. I am pleased to welcome and introduce Noor Bonst. Hello and congratulations, 2021 graduates. Thank you, family and friends, for logging in from home. Like any good nurse, I'll start with an introduction. Hi, my name is Noor and I've been in nursing for the last eight years in various roles. I am a mother to two daughters and an aspiring fiber artist in my off hours. Thank you for the honor of being your BSN at home speaker. Last year, the American Nurses Association declared 2020 to be the year of the nurse, especially of nurse innovators. While our roles were definitely in the spotlight, I'm pretty sure that's not what they had in mind. I'd like to first acknowledge the mixed feelings many of us have about the last year. All of us in some way saw the good and bad in our field. We mourn for the patients and nurses we've lost to the pandemic. Our anger about issues such as staffing ratios and supply chains were magnified. Many of us felt fear about what would happen to our families and ourselves. We still carry many of these emotions regardless of where you were. We also innovated the living heck out of the pandemic. The Merriam-Webster definitions for innovation are a new idea, method, or device, and the introduction of something new. From developing protocols and tracking treatment options to openly sharing our successes and failures in creative oxygenation, we managed to ADPI our brains out. ADPI, of course, being assess, diagnose, plan, implement, and evaluate for those who, of you who haven't thrown a nursing book across the room in frustration. Whether you are a new grad or an experienced nurse, this last year taught us that it is okay to say, I don't know. It is vital that we share our education and nurture each other because we are only as strong as our newest nurse. I remember starting in a procedural department after years of bedside nursing and feeling like I was brand new to the field. My mentor then told me none of us know it all. That's the beauty of the profession. I carry her words and teach it to my mentees every day. Nursing is like no other field. It is an art, a science, a practice, and for some a calling. We have seen what has come, what might come, and I have no doubt, as Badger nurses, we will rise to meet what's next. On Wisconsin, thank you. Thank you, Noor. As our final student speaker, we'll, we will hear from Susan Maloney, who was selected by peers to speak on behalf of the traditional BSN, BSN program. It is my pleasure to introduce Susan. Good afternoon and a huge congratulations to the UW-Madison School of Nursing class of 2021. 
I think that it is fair to say that the chapters of our lives that we have written these past two years, along with our instructors, preceptors, mentors, and families, will remain imprinted on our hearts and minds for decades to come. This being said, I truly cannot think of another group of humans with whom I would have rather survived a pandemic, let alone began our journeys together as nurses. I believe that nursing exists at the intersection of healthcare and storytelling. I remember my grandmother sharing with me her experiences as an ER nurse for over 40 years. When I was so young, the stories that she told seemed almost to come from a separate world from my own, where the most intimate, extraordinary, and terrifying experiences of an individual's life were laid out upon an exam table for my grandmother to assess and treat. I remember wondering what kind of person is qualified to interact with humanity exposed as such in some of its most raw forms. Earlier this semester, one of our classmates shared with me that she witnessed her first patient death, then many, many more, last spring when she worked on one of the COVID-19 units as a nursing assistant to support patients and healthcare workers during the height of the pandemic. This conversation, along with countless other conversations with classmates, preceptors, instructors, and healthcare workers, helps me to realize how truly storied the class of 2021's nursing career has been since the very beginning. We are entering this profession at a time when nurses have been lifted up in our society as heroes. Yet, we are perhaps more wise than other graduating classes to the personal sacrifice and emotional investment that come with this career. When I was a child, my grandmother's world as a nurse seemed as foreign a concept to me as joining a pirate ship or living deep in the woods in a house made of candy. Now, we all have our own set of nursing stories to share. I am honored and proud to have had the opportunity to grow and learn with each one of you. I am inspired by your resilience, passion, intelligence, and kindness. I hope that we, as a class, can look at the next fresh page of our lives with optimism and enthusiasm and have the courage to write our own stories in pursuit of a better world for our loved ones, our patients, ourselves, and our communities. I want to close with an infinite amount of thanks for the UW-Madison School of Nursing instructors, faculty, and staff, as well as all the preceptors and mentors who have made this experience not only possible, but a space for all of us to thrive. Additionally, to the loved ones who have supported and encouraged us, you have truly made this day possible. From all of us, the deepest of thanks. Happy graduation, everyone. I believe in all of you, and I can't wait to see you change the world. Thank you, Amanda, Noor, and Susan. I am Dr. Barb Penekenstein, Interim Associate Dean for Academic Affairs at the School of Nursing. I'd like to congratulate our student speakers for providing very insightful comments to us all. It's truly a delight and an honor to hear from you. And as Dr. Scott and Dr. Bratsky did, I'd also like to welcome and congratulate all of our graduates and your family, friends, and supporters as new baccalaureate prepared nurses. Achieving your baccalaureate degree is a major milestone. We celebrate your success today. At UW-Madison, we develop nurse leaders. I am confident that each of you will make a significant difference in the care of your patients, the families, and the communities that you serve. You each will have the opportunity to innovate and transform care delivery and make a significant difference in the profession of nursing. It's now my pleasure to announce our award winners for this year. We will begin with the DAISY Award. The DAISY Awards are presented on behalf of the School of Nursing and the DAISY Foundation, which was established in 1999 by the family of Patrick Barnes as a thank you to nurses for their support they received during Patrick's illness and eventual loss. DAISY is an acronym which stands for Diseases Attacking the Immune System. There are three DAISY Awards that we will be presenting today. Two are DAISY in Training Awards issued to students and the other is a DAISY Faculty Award to recognize and celebrate the contributions that faculty make to the future of nursing. 
I believe that everyone listening knows that nursing school is not easy. It's challenging, it can be overwhelming, it requires intelligence, critical decision making, commitment, sacrifice, time management, and a compassion and a connection to others. The pressures associated with class load, clinicals, exams, and later the NCLEX can make it easy for students to sometimes lose sight of the art of caring while learning the science of nursing. What we know, however, is that our nursing students do not lose sight of that required blend. Students have a true calling. They're compassionate and they um, develop clinical expertise that's delivered together at a vulnerable time in our patients' lives. The Daisy and Training Award was created to recognize and celebrate nursing students who exemplify the delivery of clinical care in an extraordinary and compassionate way to patients and families. This year's Daisy in Training Award recipients are Amy, Jacksette Perez, and Eric Saxby. Amy was nominated for this award by one of her instructors who has this to say about Amy. Amy demonstrated notable passion for the profession of nursing and for her patients when she agreed to speak to her peers in one of the courses regarding health education and promotion and health determinants. Amy highlighted the importance of patient education, noted that she had seen to, it to transform care and health outcomes for her patients and even the health of her own family. Amy shared a personal story of her grandmother and how the health care system failed her. Amy used this lived experience to learn how she can better serve her patients and ensure that others are not lost due to preventable diseases. Amy clearly articulated the lasting impact of proper patient education and helped her classmates understand the importance of patient education, health promotion, and prevention. She was able to help her classmates take these concepts into real life situations, particularly regarding the social determinants of health. Her vulnerability and passion for equitable patient care has made a lasting impact on students and as all of us as faculty. Eric was also nominated by one of his instructors who spoke highly of him saying this about how the impression he made through pediatric clinical. Eric made a lasting impression with a family, specifically during his pediatric clinical, and it resulted in a very strong bond with both the young patient and his mother. The patient has since commented on how great a nurse Eric will be and how she hopes he will become a pediatric nurse. She noted that he had made a lasting impression on her and her son, and they've missed seeing him this semester. The faculty member goes on to say that she has had many students have made positive impressions on family, but never has a student made such a bond with a family, prompting a family to ask for him months later, still hoping that he'll work with them in the future on the unit. These two students exemplify the qualities of the Daisy and Training Award. Please join me in congratulating Amy and Eric. The other DAISY Award is a DAISY Faculty Award. This award recognizes faculty for their commitment and inspirational influence on their students. This year's DAISY Faculty Award goes to Dr. Lindsay Stiege. Dr. Stiege was nominated by one of her advisees who said that Dr. Stiege is an extraordinary mentor and educator. This nominee went on to say that she feels incred incredibly fortunate to have Dr. Stiege as her advisor and is grateful for the way that she has shaped her thinking. The nomination continues by saying, Lindsay has the incredible ability to challenge and push her students to learn and grow while also providing support and guidance when we need it most. One of the most wonderful things about Lindsay is how she helps us as students find balance. She knows that our academic work is important, but she also sees us as individuals beyond our role as a PhD student. Lindsay builds connections, learns who you are, and makes a point of knowing who you, your loved ones are. 
Building these meaningful relationships fosters support and learning, which has made it easier to keep working hard. The nomination continues with further gratitude for Dr. Stiggy's support and concludes by speaking to Dr. Stiggy's dedication to her work and her investment in the education and future of her students. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Stiggy. Our next award is the Ginsburg Undergraduate Excellent Award for Leadership, Scholarship, and Service and is a UW-Madison campus award. This award is awarded to a junior or senior student who has made outstanding contributions to the university community while maintaining strong and consistent academic performance. Nominations for this award come from faculty and the award includes recognition along with a monetary award. The winner of this year's Ginsburg Undergraduate Excellent Award <clears throat> is Luba Laska. This past year, Lou Belaska has served as co-president of the Healthcare Inclusion Initiative, an organization that works to eliminate healthcare inequities by helping to educate future healthcare professions about various marginalized group experiences interacting with the medical care system. Luba firmly believes that every person deserves to be treated with dignity and constantly works at developing respectful and open communication skills, as demonstrated through her volunteer and clinical work. Luba helps with meal preparation, distribution at the Beacon, which is a day resource center for those experiencing homelessness. She also volunteers at New Friends through the Wisconsin Alzheimer's um, Disease Research Center, building friendships with older adults via regular Zoom calls, Additionally, Luba is a COVID vaccine volunteer with University Health Services. As a nursing assistant at UW Health Urology Clinic, Luba also works with many different patient populations, including incarcerated patients through weekly inmate clinics. She also volunteers to work additional hours when the clinic is short-staffed. Luba is an excellent student achieving an impressive GPA in nursing. She is truly a leader in her cohort and hopes to pursue nursing graduate studies to become a certified nurse anesthetist. Please join me in congratulating Lupa and what she has done for our school, the university, and her service to the community. The Outstanding Undergraduate Student Award is bestowed upon a nursing student who excels in academic performance, clinical competence, and professional and community service. The 2021 Outstanding Undergraduate Student Award winner is Becky Buck. As a young child, Becky wanted to eventually become a nurse, but it would be a winding road that would eventually lead her to earning her baccalaureate degree. She originally went to school as a pre-med student and then went on to Epic to work at Epic as a software tester in nursing documentation. It was with this work at Epic that helped her realize that she just didn't want to help nurses do their job. She wanted to actually become a nurse. This commitment has shown through in her time before UW-Madison in which she was a nursing honor society and in her accelerated baccalaureate nursing program where she achieved a perfect GPA. Aside from her academic excellence, Becky's path to nursing also included exceptional professional and community service, with Becky holding roles in leadership for 4-H secretary, 4-H president, software development project manager, innovations manager, and she's also been a long-term volunteer at the Advocate Aurora Healthcare System. Becky's instructors talk about what a hard worker she is, along with being a great communicator and an exceptional team player. One instructor went out on to say about how happy she was to have Becky in her course and how Becky deserved, truly deserved this award. Becky, congratulations on this award and thank you for your many contributions. Our next award is the Outstanding Undergraduate Returning Adult Student Award. This campus award recognizes two returning adult undergraduate students whose exceptional determination and perseverance has enabled them to pursue their academic work 
and to contribute to the community by demonstrating outstanding leadership and service. This year, we are thrilled to share that one of our BSN at Home students, Mariana Glabacheva, is a recipient of this campus award. Mariana was selected as the winner of this award from a strong pool of applicants across campus, and there's a reason why. Prior to immigrating to the US, Mariana was a midwife at a hospital in Russia. After arriving in Madison, Mariana worked to become a licensed RN through Madison College and is now completing her baccalaureate degree in the BSN at Home program. She intends to pursue her master's in nursing and has hopes of serving underprivileged women. She is a mother of five and with her youngest being born while finishing her baccalaureate classes. Please join us in congratulating Mariana and honoring her determination and perseverance. For our final award, the Wisconsin Nursing Association Future Nursing Leader Award, I'm pleased to announce that Katie Calvillage is the 2021 WNA Future Nurse Leader Award winner. Katie's nomination included this information. Within her first week as a freshman on campus, Katie was selected to be an Associated Students of Madison intern. She learned about grassroots organizing and what it truly means to be a leader. Her first project was to work with University Health Services and the Center for Leadership and involved an involvement to improve communications surrounding mental health resources on campus. This project resulted in a resource page being placed in the student handbook. This was the beginning of our work promoting health and wellness on campus, which has continued through various committees and groups to improve resources and promote health and wellness on campus. She sat on a mental health coalition through Associated Students of Madison, has contributed to a campaign to promote UW-Madison joining several Big Ten schools in becoming a tobacco-free campus. For this work, Katie has chosen to receive Bucky's Award for Health and Wellness in 2020. Katie has been a mentor to pre-nursing and nursing students. She's volunteered at the American Family Children's Hospital. She has served on numerous campus and school of, committee, school of nursing committees. She was also chosen by the Vice Chancellor Lori Resser to sit on the UW system-wide behavioral health work group to discuss mental health resources. Aside from all of this, Katie has also served on the, as a School of Nursing Ambassador, all the while while maintaining an excellent GPA. Please welcome me in congratulating Katie on this significant award. Again, congratulations to these award winners. Our final special recognition of the day goes to students who received pins during a celebration held by the Nursing Alumni Association on April 28th. During that celebration, pin donors, their family, and other representatives presented their pins to the class of 2021 recipients. The pinning ceremony is a time-honored nursing school tradition. It signifies a rite of passage, which dates back to the 12th century. The tradition was modernized by Florence Nightingale in the 1860s 60s, and became standard practice in the US by 1916. Honor the nursing pin tradition as a way to unite us as members of the nursing profession, signifying that we are connected over time by our commitment to protecting, improving, and advancing the health for all. Congratulations to each and every one of our 2021 pin recipients.
Congratulations to all PIN recipients and once again to our class of 2021. I will now welcome Dean Scott once again to offer remarks and lead into the announcement of the graduates. Thank you, Dr. Penechtenstein, and congratulations to our student award winners and PIN recipients. These recognitions of your service, your commitment, and your potential for future impact are well deserved. I also thank our PIN donors for contributing to the UW Madison School of Nursing PIN tradition. Their generosity provides an opportunity to connect the history of nurse leaders who have brought us here to our current graduates who will carry this legacy forward. Graduates, your predecessors believe in your leadership for the future. And now it is time to celebrate and recognize the class of 2021, which we celebrate today. This celebration and recognition of graduates is important. It's important first to our graduating students. For them, it marks their incredible potential and their achievements. It becomes a turning point from which they move forward differently in the world demonstrating the skills they have developed during their pursuit of the degree. This ceremony is also important for our faculty. For them, it is a time to celebrate achievements of the graduating students and to recognize the scholarly circle of life. This is important too for advisors, mentors, and other supporters who relish the passing of this milestone for someone in whom they have believed in for years. And for families, friends, and loved ones, this time inspires the greatest pride. What a moment it is to see your graduate complete one journey and embark on another. We will now individually recognize each of our Bachelor of Science in Nursing graduates. I hope that you will have your camera and recording devices ready as we start this video presentation. Our graduates will appear in alphabetical order by last name and be introduced as their picture appears. So please welcome the UW Madison School of Nursing Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree, class of 2021. Damola Ajibola. Toby Alawade. Ashley Amundsen, Gabrielle Appleton, Corinne Adelot, Kate Balder, Margaret Bartkowski, Megan Bartuch, Josefina Benitez, Allison Biscocha. Mackenzie Blauert, Abigail Beauchet, Alexa Bonzak, Noor Bachhuber Bonds, Haley Bramer, Raven Brennecke, Summer Brockema, Jennifer Ryan Brushke, Rebecca Buck, Brooke Buckley, Catherine Buffy, Jordan Burkhalter, Jamie Call, Laura Canapa, Anna Carlson, Jeffrey Carpenter, Allison Chang, Rachel Chilson, Laura Clark, Kristen Calgan, Brianna Colvin, Marissa Cooper, Sarah Crosby, Isabel Cunningham, Jainaba Dahaba, 
Lindsay Dahl, Tiffany Diaz, Emily Dobbins, Amelia Dudek, Jillian Durkop, Brianna Ellinger, Shane Ellis, Rebecca Esbenson, Autumn Factor, Jessica Fairbanks, Sarah Fegis, Sarah Fellhofer, Cameron Fernandez, Maria Fernandez, Emily Ford, Carrie Franke, Emily Fry, Emily Fruley, Natalia Gabaldon, Laura Garcia, Laura Giro, Robert Garretts, Mickey Ginter, Andrea Gladding, Megan Glasgow, Mariana Globacheva, Ana Gonzalez Perez, Zoe Gormley, Amara Green, Jada Green, Ireland Gunther, Andrew Hakey, Alessandra Hammer Tamayo, Brooke Hansen, Ali Haydari, Claire Haina, Madison Helmley, Christina Hernandez, Sarah Heyer, Cassidy Hill, Megan Hofsleen, Gracie Holtzhuter Curry, Hannah Howe, Amanda Husk, Amy Iverson, Heejin Jang, Brittany Jansen, Rebecca Jansen, Gabrielle Johnson, Maggie Johnson, Riley Johnson, Aaron Judkins, Kelby Kaleo, Katie Calvillage, Tanner Cotre, Abigail Keith, Nicole Kellerman, William Kiesling, Robert Kaiser, Amber Cope, Emily Kossel, Emma Krotz, Hannah Kremsrider, Alicia Kuster, Talisha Cuss, Abigail Leahy, Jordan Lang, Mariah Larson, Luba Laska, Benjamin Lavoie, Chi Lee, Aaron Lennon, Zolly Lewis, Seth Legal, Laura Lombardo, 
Grace Lujan. Sarah Lutz. Tess Lutz. Susan Maloney. Isabel Mandarino. Rachel Manganaro. Craig Maternowski. Aaron Maternowski. Carrie McCoy. Avery McKinley. Megan McNerney. Sarah Maleski. Michaela Myers. Lydia Morrison. Ellie Mueller. Athena Murdoch. Laura Murphy. Kiera Nauman. Rochelle Nelson. Lauren Niemer. Aaron Nguyen. Leslie Nguyen. Ryan Nahn. Andrew Nyland. Carly Olson. Hannah Olson. Keely Olson. Megan Olson. Kendra Ott. Melody Patak. Cassidy Pearson. Amy Perez. Claire Peterson. Amanda Peterson. Taylor Peterson. Samia Petaway, Piper Phillips, Emily Block, Ali Poshant, Karina Powell, Ryan Rank, David Rhodes, Daisy Riley. Eva Rising, David Rivera Beck, Juliana Rojas Cerrone, Abby Rolfs, Kate Rowling, JJ Rosen, Natalie Ryan, Alyssa. Saladino, Maria San Emeteria, Julia Saunders, Eric Saxby, Abby Schaefers, Eric Schiller, Stephanie Scholl, William Schwartz, Priya Shah, Neha Shamsi, Lindsay Sievert, Rita Simpson, Owen Sims, Kayla Syok, Hannah Sonnentag, Serena Sorensen. Connor Suka, Jessica Spots, Ashley Squires, Benjamin Stevens, Ellie Stevens, Chloe Strait, Brady Stroy, Tianbo Sui. Vikram Suresh, 
Catherine Sutherland. Vivon Tan. Olivia Tarp. Sarah Tao. Kiara Finn. Lexi T. Andrea Tipple. Ian Tadero. Amalia Tedesco. Bryce Trimberger. Emily Unger. Kayla Van Boxtel. Catherine Van Sion. Lee Vang. Madison Vang. Rosemarie Veith. Laura Vergens. Savannah Vitale. Mary Vo. Cassandra Volpentesta. Manisha Bootker. Stephanie Walker. Olivia Walters. Samantha Watkins. Ian Wegger. Annika Wellman. Taya Wick. Miranda Williams. Travis Winger. Eric Wolfley. Dylan Wolfile. Brielle Woodworth. Samantha Wonderland. Duashi Sean. Casey Xiong. Chloe Zip. Nicole Ziem. On behalf of the School of Nursing faculty, congratulations to our new Bachelor of Science in Nursing graduates. As new graduates of the UW-Madison School of Nursing Baccalaureate program, you have gone from being a member in a cohort to a member of a broader professional community. This is a community connected through the power of the Wisconsin idea and a shared commitment to the continual sifting and winnowing by which alone the truth can be found. Graduates, we turn our attention now to your future connection as Badger nurses. As will often be the case for you, you will be welcomed and encouraged by fellow nursing alumni. I am pleased to introduce Katherine Matsky, a 2018 School of Nursing BSN graduate and a member of the Nurses Alumni Organization Board. Catherine will offer you a message as you begin your journey as alumni. Hi Badgers. Congratulations on behalf of the Nurses Alumni Organization, or NAO, of which you are all eligible to members of as graduates of the UW-Madison School of Nursing. We are certain many of you are feeling relieved and gratified to have completed this very memorable journey. We are so excited for all of you to step into the next phases of your lives as alumni, and we are even more excited for all of you to begin your careers as Badger nurses in whatever setting that may be. We encourage you all to consider staying connected to the school after graduation. The NAO is open to all Badger graduates, and what makes it better, membership is free. Our goal is to support all nursing students of all levels across their educational journeys. Our primary function is to connect alums through social and career enhancing events, and all funds raised every year are given away in the form of scholarships. We hope that by the time the dust settles and things start to return to normal, even though you all will surely never forget the experience of this pandemic, that you will consider getting involved in NAO activities. The School of Nursing website even has a section dedicated to NAO, so we encourage you all to check us out. As Badger nurses ourselves, 
We are certain that you are fully prepared to address complex health problems in innovative ways, strive to improve health outcomes, and dedicate yourselves to be lifelong learners, clinicians, and researchers. Once again, congratulations. On behalf of the Nurses Alumni Organization, we welcome you all to alumnihood. We hope to stay in touch with all of you through NAO. Thank you, Catherine, for your insightful words and for your continued involvement in leadership with the School of Nursing. Before we close, I would like to acknowledge and thank our School of Nursing faculty whose dedication to nursing education and respect for their students is profound. And thank you to our School of Nursing staff members whose commitment to supporting nursing and nursing education also contributes greatly to the student experience. Thank you to the family and friends who have supported our graduates along the way. And congratulations to our 2021 graduates, our new Badger nurses. As you lead in the profession and society, may you always benefit from and contribute to the ways that nurses impact the world. Nurses lead, collaborate, care. Nurses advocate, research, and innovate. We foster a culture of health for all that improves Wisconsin and our world. Thank you for being here. Now, Badger Nurses, before you go forward and change lives, I hope you will join me in saying, On Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs>